Hot off the presses. Get it? Hot? <laughs> We're taking a look at the United States and global climate reports for autumn 2017, issued by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This autumn 2017, that is September through November, was the fourth warmest autumn we've measured since global records began in 1880. If we're talking about land temperatures only, the three month period was the fifth warmest for the season. Here in the United States, we saw warmer and drier than normal autumn, with this season coming in as the 10th warmest and third driest on record. If we look at our world oceans, ocean surface temperature was the fourth warmest on record this autumn. This animation is showing sea surface temperatures measured by NOAA satellites up in space. Blue areas were cooler than normal, while red areas were warmer than normal. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, the La Nina conditions in the Pacific Ocean that we saw at the end of November are expected to stick around throughout Northern Hemisphere winter, with potential global impacts on weather. These warm ocean waters also fueled what was a historic year for Atlantic hurricanes. Two major hurricanes impacted the mainland United States and Puerto Rico this past fall after a decade of quiet. Hurricanes Irma and Maria. Hurricane Irma passed over parts of the United States and British Virgin Islands as a Category 5 storm on September 6th, where complete devastation was reported. Irma next hit northern Cuba, winketing slightly while heading toward the Florida Keys before making landfall with Category 4 winds of 130 miles per hour. Irma made another landfall on Marco Island, Florida as a Category 3 storm. The Florida Keys were heavily impacted, with 25% of all of its buildings destroyed. Irma continued to travel north over the Florida Peninsula, bringing heavy rains, strong winds, and storm surge to most of the state. Hurricane Irma caused coastal flooding from Florida all the way to the Carolinas while it weakened. Later that same month, Category 5 Hurricane Maria, the strongest tropical cyclone of the season, made landfall on the island of Dominica on September 18th, causing catastrophic damage and over three dozen fatalities. Maria next made landfall on the island of Puerto Rico as a Category 4 storm on September 20th, devastating transportation, agriculture, communication, and energy infrastructure in its path. Extreme rainfall totals up to 37 inches caused widespread flooding and mudslides across the Commonwealth. The death toll estimates from Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico range between 500 and 1,000. FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, reports that federal assistance to Puerto Rico has topped $1 billion. Recovery efforts are still underway. Not surprisingly, overall cyclone activity in the Atlantic Basin in 2017 was well above average, with 17 named storms, 10 hurricanes, and 6 major hurricanes. In terms of accumulated cyclone energy, or ACE, which measures the combined strength and duration of tropical cyclones, the 2017 season is coming in as the most active since 2005. And that, wonderful climate buffs, is your Autumn 2017 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video. Until next time, stay safe and have a fun winter.